Hello, my name is Jordan Gaskell and welcome to Gaskell's 2021 Christmas speech. No, it's a 2022 then, I'm getting too eager. <laughs> uh, nearly there. Anyway, as anyone that's new to this channel, what I do every year on this channel, we do a bit of a run through of the year, what's happened, um, a bit of a personal one and mostly in regards to the channel and what we're doing there. Um, a bit of a potential New Year's resolution, a bit of a message of goodwill, something I think society as a whole should work on for this year. And well, that, for the most part, is it? And a bit of a Merry Christmas message, of course. Now, before I do begin, I would like to quickly apologise in regards to something. Some people may have seen that the last Christmas speech is no longer available on YouTube. The 2019 one is, but the 2020 one isn't. Not going into it too much, of course, but due to personal conflictions with the person that was involved in the video, I decided it was in my best interest to take it down. I was no longer getting along the best with that person, but that, that, not going into that too much. The video was up for 11 months, and I got took down in December, so hopefully a lot of you have seen it. If not, the message that I put in last one of Goodwill was to train, practice what you preach, to stick to what we say we're going to do. But that's enough about the last year year's resolution etc it's time for this year an overview of this year what's happened so far it's been quite eventful um some good some bad a bit of a mix really um the youtube channel has grown considerably um over 200 subscribers now i have both a facebook instagram and telegram not telegram and twitter page sorry so that's three social medias there facebook twitter and instagram um, running elections in May, which was quite fun, running against the leader of the Wigan Council, uh, stood in Ince. Um, didn't win, but good experience. I was standing in Hinley this May, my hometown, which I'm excited about. Um, sorry, and also, sorry, I lost train of thought there. Also, I, um, normally I would be running for the head of the UK youth again, which I did win last year, I was very happy about, but, uh, Sadly, you can no longer do elections for the head of youth. It's youth. It's decided by the NEC, which, although I don't agree with the decision, it's up to them. So I'm no longer the head of the party's youth, but I instead am head of the party in the Wigan branch, which I'm very happy about. So lose some, you gain some, and I'm also now the chief organiser for the Liberty Uprising movement, which I'm very happy to be involved in. In addition to all that, of course, I've had a few achievements in my charitable career. I'm currently working with HSP, which is a support group for the homeless and vulnerable. Um, I've done a lot for charity. Um, actually, I received two medals from it for my bone cancer one. I um, can't remember if I showed that one or not last Christmas. That's why I am now. And same as my one for the Royal Earth Force Bereavement Fund. Relevant fund. I can't say the word. Forgive me. <laughs> but can't remember if I mentioned them last time but they're still here with me i've found i've got my own house now which i'm very happy about only renting for now but you start somewhere um and of course a very lovely early christmas present i got off uh well technically my stepmother but she treats me like her own so she's she's lovely julie she's a lovely lady um an absolutely wonderful mother in general but she got me this which i'm so happy about um, Lord Jordan James Gaskell. I'm I'm a lord now. I'm, I'm actually chuffed to bits for that. I really am. <laughs> Thank you again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, made my day in that. A few other presents. Like, hold on. <clears throat> Might as well show this. Some of you know my good friend Regan. Um, he uh got me another litter picker for when I do them. The litter picker pro. So. Better grip for when I'm doing stuff like that. Um, the litter picking and community work that I've been doing more of. So I've got some brilliant presents and that off good friends and great support off a lot of people too. Pardon me. Um, oh, overall though, that's pretty much the run through of my year. Um, now going into more, a bit of a message of goodwill. Now, I've, over time I've tried... From 2019, when I was trying to encourage people just to be generally nice to people where they can. From 2020, we talked about the idea of trying to 
practice what we preach. Don't just put it on social media and that's sticking to what we say we're going to do. And this year, I have something as well. Um, another New Year's resolution for people. This year, what I've seen, and it's, it's an unfortunate situation, but it's about relationships this year I want to encourage on. In relationships, cheating and disloyalty in general has become more and more common. And I believe, as a society as a whole, really, we could all work on that. Obviously, a lot of people don't cheat, but there's a lot that do. And it's it's never nice. It's heartbreaking. I've been there. It's absolutely heartbreaking. One well, of the only things I can say that I'm proud of, I've never cheated. It's one thing I am proud of. But being cheated on hurts a lot. Um, and it's never a nice thing. So I encourage people, there's issues to work on them. Talk through with your partner. If the relationship's worth it and you love each other, you'll talk it out and you'll make it work together. Loyalty, people, I believe, is what my next New Year's resolution should be for people. To try to be as loyal as they can to their partners and work together to fix the issues. Um, overall, I think that would be about it for the New Year's resolution. And, of course, the run-through of the year. Normally, we'd also have a fundraiser um, for the channel. Um, I've also, I forgot to mention before, um, actually set up my own charity now. I founded the Gaskell's Mental Health Initiative. Um, we're still going through the Charity Commission. Uh, we're registered as a limited company for now, which is a, valuable, a valid structure for a charity. We just need to convert it over to the charity format properly. But while that's being worked on, we exist. Um, we are still working on the bank de getting a bank account for the charity, but while that's in the process, for now I have to use my personal account. So any donations coming through within the next few well, next, well, pretty much until I have my next video out, um, anything in the meantime, or well, at least till halfway through January, let's say, I'm going to put anything that donates to the channel directly into the charity fund, which goes in my bank, I write it down, and as soon as the business account for the charity is up, we will um, put it into the correct account, of course. It's all recorded transactions, don't worry. Um, but that's just... Again, in the meantime, until we get an account. So if you want to donate to my mental health charity, the details to donate are in the description. And I hope you can count on your support there. Um, so I'm saying um, well too many times. Uh, no, I'm, I... <laughs> That's my New Year's resolution. Stop saying um as watching videos. But overall, I think it's been quite a good year. And you've got to stick to the positives. And we've got through it. We've got through another year, even if it has had a lot of difficulties, we've got through it. So if you could donate to the show, to know the links in the description. This year, loyalty would be the New Year's resolution. I hope you enjoyed the quick run through of the year. I do apologise, the video's gone over a bit more. I kept forgetting my words. This is why I need my notes with me, but it's not. I'm trying to work on my memory a bit. <laughs> be a bit more informal, if you can't tell, with it being Christmas. So, well, come here. Come here. So both me and my lovely little wall would like to wish you both, well, all of you, a very, very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. Merry Christmas.